Hi everyone, I've been messaged a few times about a sample I made recently for Jamie Rogers Everlasting Love Collection with the Lattice Heart Blooms die. This is a similar card but um, I've used blues, different tones of blue in this one. I'm going to be using the same embossing folder though, this is the Peony Blooms which is definitely one of my favourites. Okay, so you want to open the folder up and we need to make sure we get the ink on the same on the right side of the folder. So I'm just going to take some Distress Oxide in a tumbled glass, this one, um, and then just feeling on top and I can feel that the peonies, the head, it goes down and in. So I want to pop the ink over the top. So it's just the raised parts in this side of the folder that is going to be receiving the ink. Now I'm putting quite a good coat of ink on this folder because I'm using craft card. I want there to be a nice contrast between the ink and the color of card. Now this is a six by six folder. So I'm gonna cut my, I've cut my card a little bit smaller than that because um, I wanna pop it onto a six by six card and I would need to mat and layer it. Okay, so next I'm gonna take that, run it through the embossing folder and when we open it out you can see here the blue of the ink is sitting in between giving it a little bit more depth put that to the side now the next step you should really let it dry now I didn't um, but uh, you learn by these things but never mind it doesn't really matter so if you haven't got time to let it dry it's not the end of the world and you still get a fab result so wiping your ink pad all over your card and we're trying this time the idea is to be covering just the raised elements okay pop that in and then what I want to do is pop some clear embossing powder over the top for this I'm using the uh, cosmic shimmer embossing powder in clear big tub nice and easy okay and just tap it now you can see here, because I didn't let that ink dry, the powder has actually stuck everywhere on the card. Now it really doesn't matter, still going to get a fab effect, but the idea is really we just want to highlight those flowers. Okay, let me pop this powder back into the pot, so much easier than a small pot. Put the lid on that before anything gets knocked, and then I'm going to heat this to melt the embossing powder. I'm going to whiz past it. There we go. So that you haven't got to listen to the noise. And you can see a nice shine. And also it's really sort of brought the peonies to life. So that's my background. Now next what I want to do is find some another shade of blue. And I'm going like for a navy. And I think I'm going to map that on top of that. I've also applied a little bit of, um, of lace. It's just some blue lace that I had in my stash. You don't have to, just I think it's quite pretty. So taking the Lattice Heart Blooms die, pop that into the middle. Make sure, now remember it's going down onto embossed surface, so you need to make sure you've got a decent glue. Then the center, I've done in a slightly different blue, so I'm actually using three tones of blue on this card. Pop that down into the center, give that a push, and now, a sentiment, something that fits quite nicely within that heart. So I've used thinking of you sentiment. Make sure that sticks. There we go. Next, I'm going to take some butterflies and I thought I'd maybe do those in a couple of different colour blues as well. So one up there. And what I've done is I've only glued in the centre of the butterfly. So when I die cut them, I sort of fold the side of the wings up and then see the middle part of the butterfly is flat to take the glue. And pop that one down there. Now obviously it will flatten in the post but they can easily just lift them up because they it'll be nice and stuck and it's not going anywhere. Okay, last one. Decisions, decisions, where am I going to put it? Perfect. There we go. All finished. 
thank you ever so much for watching. Bye.